Hello guys and welcome to the video that will be showing you everything that I made in 2020 regarding Royal High cosplay and Royal High in real life. And you may or may not have known that I made a video exactly like this on the last January 1st showing everything that I made in 2020. And I had a lot of people in the comments of that very annoyed that I didn't put any of the stuff on. Um, for this video, for this year's video, there is a separate video for everything I'm showing you in this collection video. So last year I hadn't started my, my YouTube channel for like half of that, so there were a lot of items in the last one that didn't have a video. Um, but this year, everything here I'm going to show you has its own video showing like how I made it and also me wearing it at the end so those videos will be in the the cards I, I don't remember which side it is and then also in the description as well so I, I don't <laughs> I will actually cry if I see some comments being like oh how did you make that oh I'm annoyed she didn't wear it so yeah here's your warning there's videos for that, They're, those videos exist. But anyway, I need to... <laughs> I, I can't remember what my first thing was. Okay, so, on January 11th, only 10 days after I posted last year's collection video, I made... Where is it? Where did I put it? Um, okay, you can go up there. Whoa. <laughs> I made the Warm Glittering Cloak, which is an advent item from the 2020 advent calendar. And I'm trying to figure out how, how I've put this on the coat hanger. Um, yeah, I did also wear this to Comic Con a few months ago so if you've seen that comic on vlog then you may recognize this cloak from that if not the original video where i make this in but it is it's a big old cloak that <laughs> i don't remember how long this took me to make because it, it was almost a year ago now this is a very long cloak um Multiple people stepped on it at Comic Con when I when I took it there. So yeah, that that should give you an idea for how long the, the cloak is. It's long enough for people to stand on. So <laughs> yeah, that is that is the first thing I made during 2021, which was the Advent cape. Also, I I don't remember what order I made these in. Okay, so the next item that I made was on the 12th of February. Okay, so these dates, I forgot to mention, these dates are specifically when the video was posted, not when I made the item. So the item would have been made before this date. But when it was, a like, when the, um, you know, when the actual video is done and out, that is when the, the, the dates for these are. So on the 12th of February, I made the video for the Elegance Rose Corsage in celebration of Valentine's Day, which I have down on the floor there. So this was just a little small item that I thought to make. I'm pretty sure it was new that year. I'm pretty sure this was one of the new items, if not from 2020. I don't quite remember. I just made this item because it had these roses in and I, I still have a bag full of these like foam roses so I'm trying to make items from the game that could use like white roses and I think it's a cute little item I know some people didn't quite like it but I think it's cute and <laughs> that, that is what I made for Valentine's Day and yeah, that was two days before Valentine's Day, if it was on the 12th. Yeah, okay, it would have been two days before Valentine's. Okay, the next item, we are moving onto set stuff now. 
on the 8th of March, I posted the video for the Winter Guardian boots. Now, if you are new to the channel, then you may not know. I am still working on the Winter Guardian set. Actually, no, I'm not, but you will find out later in the video. Um, okay, so. Winter Guardian boots. They are, in fact, in two pieces. So we have the boot base and the boot covers. And. Yeah. <laughs> This, this is, this was definitely one of the more challenging things I've made before because I've never done boot covers nor have I done that much detailing on something. So yeah, this, this took quite a few months. I was originally supposed to have that video out for January, um, but then obviously it, it came out a few months later in March. Where did I put the phone? Where is the phone? Oh, it's down there. But yeah. That is, that took me like, I don't know, like two months to make these. And yeah, that's really all I can say for the boots. Obviously there is a video for these that shows you how I made them and what they look like on and like how you put them on. So yeah, there, there's a video for all of these items that go into more detail. I'm just giving you, this, this whole video's purpose is giving you a rundown of everything that I've made. So, let's put that back down there. And what is the next item? The DIY Ruffle Top Hat. Now, if you've seen last year's video, or like last year's collection video, then you probably know that the Ruffle, ta Ruffle Top Hat was in that video, and there wasn't a video for it. But this year I made a duplicate one, this isn't the duplicate, the duplicate one's downstairs. But yeah, I made a duplicate of this so I could make you guys a tutorial and that video will be, you know, card, description, anywhere, whatever. And yeah, this is this is one of the items that I have made a, a like duplicate of to give you guys a tutorial on it. And yeah, I am still yet to give out the duplicate. I will have to take that to the next Comic Con and hope I run into one of you guys. Um, free ruffle top hat, why not? And that, I didn't check the date for that. <laughs> I didn't check the date for that. Uh, I did that on the 18th of March. So that was in celebration of the St. Patrick's update, obviously. Um, Okay, this next one isn't specifically cosplay, but it is still something that I've recreated in real life, and that was on the 7th of May. So on the 7th of May, I created a little item chest. Now this is kind of like doll sized, which is why it's not really cosplay, but I have a whole video painting that and creating these little coins and gems and stuff. It was a really fun thing to do because I found, oh it is a bit dusty, but I found the, the wooden chest and also the paints in a charity shop. I did have to buy some gems though because I didn't already have like the right gems for it. But yeah, I just, cute little item chest I wanted to include in the video. And we're moving on to like Easter stuff now. So on the 14th of May, I made a video for the Sweet Bunny Ears. And this is another item that I made in 2020, but um, Ocean Ops commissioned me to make her a pair of these. So I took that as an opportunity to make you guys a video, like showing how I made it. Now, obviously I, I don't have the duplicate pair because they're with Ocean Orbs now, but they, these are the ones that I made in 2020. Um, Ocean Orbs were, ones were a little bit better than these ones because <laughs> obviously uh, it was my second time making them so I learnt from the first and improved on the second ones so yeah I must have taken a big break from doing like Royal High Cosplay stuff because we jumped all the way from May to October 
So on the 8th of October, I made the Shadow Empress boots, which are also on the, the shoes. You can see them right there, they are literally right there. Yeah, <laughs> there they are. And I made these, I, the only reason why I made these was because back in 2020 when I was making like the Starfrost set and stuff, everyone was begging me to do the, the Shadow Empress set. Um, obviously I, I wanted to do the Winter Guardian one after, so I decided to leave the boots till this Halloween, or like the Halloween that's just passed, but I, I guess no one was really that bothered anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I, I now have Shadow Empress boots, but I'm, I'm happy with how they came out, like these are really cool. But yeah, these, <laughs> these have taught me not to listen to suggestions. Or, if I listen to suggestions, do them right when people are asking for it, else it's it's not going to work. Um, put that back in there. I keep forgetting where I leave the phone, I keep putting the phone in weird places. Oh, and then... Eight days later, on the 16th of October, I posted a video for the Goth Lolita skirt, which is on the floor down here. <laughs> And, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, the skirts are going to look a little bit weird when they're on the hangers because, you know, they don't have all the underskirts and stuff underneath to poof them out. But this was another thing that I, uh, I wore to Comic-Con the other month. So, if you've not seen the original video of me making this, then you've possibly seen it in the Comic-Con vlog. But, yeah, that is the... The skirt. Yeah, so you guys really liked the the Lolita skirt. I don't know if it was because it was a really new item then or or what, but the the skirt did better than the, the Shadow Empress boots did, view-wise. Um what else have we got? Now we're we're getting close to the end. I guess I didn't make as much stuff as I did last year. Where I'm just not going into that much detail about them. Um, but we are going into November now. So on the 27th of November, I posted the video for the Thigh High Ice Princess boots. Ah! They, they fell off of the clip. But here they are. Here they are. I, I actually love these boots. I think they're really nice and yeah I also found these boots in a charity shop and everything else I didn't even have to buy any of this other stuff um, I already had all the, the other materials and the paint so that was that was good this year has been a lot of shoes hasn't it I made these Okay, so I've made three pairs of shoes this year. How many did I do last year? I did two pairs of shoes last year. Okay. I'll well, put those down there. Now, the next thing is the Winter Guardian dress, which I did on Christmas Eve. So, 24th of December. Obviously I'm, I'm yet to make a video showing the entire set off, um, but yeah, I've already done a video for the dress, that's already up and stuff, obviously, because I've, I've just said that the video was posted on Christmas Eve, but yeah, here is, here is the dress, this was my first time making like a full on dress, everything else had just been bodices and skirts, this this is my first time making an actual, like, full dress. So, this this was challenging, but I'm really happy with how it came out. Obviously, it's lacking the uh, the details on the back of the bodice, but I can always add those later. If if I feel I can even tackle that again. <laughs> but yeah, that is that's the dress. Obviously, it's looking a little bit different because it doesn't have like all the the stuff underneath the skirt 
then there's also the belt to it as well and that's where we end with everything that has a video now as you know I've been working on the Winter Guardian set this morning I have just finished the Winter Guardian antlers so if you're watching this video like as soon as this video came out like you're the first to see the finished version of these antlers because there isn't a video for these yet I still need to edit it and get the, the footage of me wearing them and stuff for the, the end of the video so yeah that is a little sneak peek obviously if you're watching this video later on um, after the video's gotten a little bit older then there will most likely be a card and a, a link in the description for the, the videos to these um, so it won't stay like that forever but right now whilst I'm recording this probably a couple days into into January into the new year this is this is the only place where you're gonna see these so yeah <laughs> I'm really happy about these turned out like, I've even added like the detailing on there and icicles and stuff like that I'm super happy with how this turned out and I've not actually worn this yet I've not worn the finished version of this yet I don't think I've actually put it on my head since I put the clay on it I've only worn the, the wire base I'm not putting it on now <laughs> I'm saving that for when I have to do the, re the reveal video so yeah that was a rundown of everything that I made in 2021 as I've been saying throughout the video if there is any of these items that you're curious about and want to see in more detail they do have videos which will be in the description and also you, you can just find it on my channel I have a playlist for all of my royal high in real life stuff so I'd very much appreciate it if you could go check out those videos and plans for 2022 obviously I still need to make the video for the Winter Guardian antlers which are down there and then the entire set reveal video where you know I, I put the whole thing on and show you guys how it looks all together and I'm possibly gonna use the rest of 2022 to catch up on Royal High items that I've been wanting to make but not had the time to make so things like the blade of light I really need to make the blade of light and then I also need to remake my TV head because <laughs> throughout the entire time I've been doing my YouTube channel I've just had this broken cardboard TV head that I've not been able to use and so that needs desperately remaking so I can use that in future content and I know I have like so much more stuff written down like I have a whole like book with stuff in it uh, so I'll have to look through that again but yeah I'll probably make a, uh, a separate video talking about my plans for next year and that is all. Thank you for sitting through this video and I hope to see you on my channel next year.